The last time this football program won multiple games in a season, Finding Nemo was still in theaters and none of the players were even born yet. I'm Avi Cargloth in Green Bay, where one team is trying to change the narrative about them one win at a time. Across the 20 years before this season, the Green Bay West Wildcats won 10 total games. 10 times they won one game, 10 times they went winless. Drew Brusso was the program's fifth head coach in seven years when he was hired in 2022. He says between the four high schools in the Green Bay School District, constant coaching turnover and open enrollment, it's been difficult for the program to break out of this cycle of losing. Not as many kids are coming, are coming out for football, kind of because of they're going other places. Why would kids, why would I join it if the football program's not good? Well, you have to have more people bought in to make it good, right? So that's kind of been that struggle. But this season has been different. A 34 to nothing win over Sheboygan South bumped the Wildcats record to two and two. Their first season with multiple wins since 2003 and their first shutout win since 2002. The buy-in from the team has been there to the point where the players are often coaching themselves. When we got people taking responsibility for themselves and holding their teammates accountable and send us somebody else, I feel like it definitely hits home more instead of your teammate telling you something instead of a coach just yelling at you. Renovations to their field, which has kept them on the road all season, are another boon for the program. And during their first day practicing on the field, the Wildcats got a visit from Jordan Love who the team credits partially for their win in their next game. I feel like he does get a little credit because it was, uh, I don't know, he gave us like a different mentality that week. Like we got a, we got a chip on our shoulder, we got to prove something, you know? With new facilities and buy-in from the team, the seniors believe they're leaving the program better than they found it. Setting that tone is what's going to keep our underclassmen who we play with now, that's going to be important because it's going it, to, I'm going to be able to feel good knowing that they continue to succeed because of the stuff that we did for them. The Wildcats will carry their momentum into their home opener in their newly renovated stadium when they kick off their homecoming game against Sheboygan North on Friday night.